please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Happy New Year and welcome back Geneva. I'm Rebecca Spisano. And I'm Quinn Kennedy. We hope you had a wonderful break. It's time to dive right into today's show. Yes, we've got a brand new intro and so much more because GTV, GTV News starts, starts right, right now. Thanks to Zach Pullman for producing that intro and Andrew Lacoste for composing the music. Here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. The first general SAD club meeting of this year will be today at 2.55 p.m. in room EE191. Remember that all newcomers are welcome to join at any time during the school year. Those of you in drama club that are attending Theater Fest, there will be a quick meeting tomorrow after school in the auditorium with important information. Check your email and contact Mr. Fontanetta with any questions or concerns. And tech crew for the spring musical begins next Tuesday the 17th. Come to the auditorium after school to begin building the set for the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Spanish Club is meeting on Thursday, January 12th after school in the cafeteria. They will be playing games and having snacks. All are welcome to join. You probably took a backpack to the class you're in right now. But unless you're a senior, you may not know that backpacks had to be stored in lockers before COVID and this change may not last forever. GTV reporter Noah Lasser tells us about how the school is unpacking the backpack policy. When it comes to schoolwork and binders for every class, or maybe transporting your gear for band, backpacks are students' daily drivers here at Geneva. I prefer to carry my backpack all day because it's useful. I have all, everything I need for all my classes. Prior to COVID, you had to keep your backpack in your locker, but carrying them in hallways seems to work in many students' favor. I do think we've seen fewer students in the hallway during class going to get uh, a protractor or something that they needed for class in previous years. So it does seem like students are more prepared. I used to have to like go to my locker between every three classes because I had so many folders and binders. So like I like having it all with me throughout the day. But some teachers would have to disagree. Backpacks on floors can become hazards and they can be disruptive to learning in the classroom. One of the things that uh, is a negative about backpacks being in the hallways does make them a little more congested. Uh, the same goes for classrooms. It's more obstacles to navigate. I don't think it's particularly dangerous. I don't think it's uh, a situation that we have to uh, be overly alarmed about, but just from an efficiency standpoint, yeah, let's go back to the lockers. There's no need to be dragging uh, seven or eight class loads of work along with you. While no immediate changes to the backpack rule are planned, they could still happen in the future. There's pros and cons to both approaches. They're both right, they're both wrong. Um, so we're gonna evaluate that before, sometime before next year. For GTV News, I'm Noah Lassiter. Thanks, Noah. In sports news, congratulations to the boys' swim team. They placed second at the Hinsdale South College Events Invitational over the weekend. Geneva swimmers Dylan Clark, Wyatt Gross, and Sam Ortiz all brought home medals. The boys take on South Elgin at the West Chicago Pool this Thursday. Over the break, the gymnastics team won at all levels against the Wheaton Warrenville South. They will be celebrating their senior night this Wednesday at, against Glenbard North. The meet starts at 6 p.m. in the Mack Olson Gym. Attention all girls interested in trying out for soccer this spring. There are two open gyms this week. Freshmen and sophomores will be on Tuesday night from 7 to 8.30 p.m., and juniors and seniors are Thursday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. All will be in the contest gym. Please email Coach Owens if you have any questions. Boys and girls track and field begins next week on Tuesday after school at 3.15 on the upstairs track. Be sure to register online and have your physical updated. And now for a look at today's weather. We have a high of 36 degrees along with a low of 28 degrees. And taking a look ahead at tomorrow's weather, we're going to have a high of 44 degrees and a low of 30 degrees. 
And now here's three to know before we go. For any students who need to make up final exams, the testing center will be open after school every day this week until 4.30. Sophomores, your required PLC on Thursday is in the auditorium. Be sure to remember your school ID. And seniors, check Naviance for some last minute scholarship opportunities. And that's all we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Rebecca Spazano. And I'm Quinn Kennedy. Have a terrific Tuesday, Geneva.